Hello everyone. In this video, I will try to convince you to use make files more often. In my opinion, it is useful whenever you need to run a command in your project. It is particularly useful if your command has input files and output files. In this, in this case, the make file will check the timestamps of the inputs and outputs and rerun the command whenever the input files are newer than the output files. This is known as the dependency management. You can see there could be uh, one input, one output, many inputs, one output, and one input and many outputs. And it will be even more useful when you have a complicated dependency graphs. Um, okay, the second usage case for makefile is to, to alias tasks. So in this situation, uh, there's no output files. Um, and it is also known as the phony targets. So you basically just want to give a short name for a long command. Let me show you some examples. So here I have a Python project which doesn't require any compilation. So in this make file, all the uh, targets are phony targets. They are all aliases for uh, different uh, tasks. For example, installation, uh, install, will install the requirements and also install the current package in development developer mode. And also there's an alias for PyTest aliases for publishing the current pro uh, project and a uh, cleaning up uh, alias. Let me also show you my um, my uh, uh, GitHub blog. So here uh, there is a draft folder and there is a posts folder. So depending on the arguments, it will show uh, different kind of posts. For example, whether it's only the draft or only the uh, whether it's only the posts or post plus draft, or whether show uh, current um, posts or also show the future posts. This idea, the similar idea, works uh, uh, exists for other um, web project as well. So it will be helpful to define a make file there. Okay, finally, let me also show you another um, another project of mine, which is the which is my CV and resumes. So they are all text files, and they compile to PDFs. So there is a, a large overlap between the CV and the resume, and I pull that out to to be another text file. So the compilation will. Um, and, and these two text files contain the unique part of the CV and resume. Uh, here I also used some simple uh, make file trick to uh, simplify some, uh, to uh, like decrease some typings. For example, you can do a, a pattern, um, pattern matching. So you don't need to uh, spell out them explicitly. Okay, so you can see in these three examples, they are all very simple applications for the makefile. I basically just use them um, to define some aliases. So I don't need to remember all the commands to be run. Okay, that's all I want to talk about for today. Thanks for watching.